And the O's on this Saturday night trying to win the series with the defending American League East chance. Cole Irvin's Oriole Park debut in orange. And a swing and a miss for strike three. And LeMahieu is down on strikes to begin the game. 3 2 is outside ball for judges on. Left on left matchup here with Rizzo. To first, Mount Castle's all over it. On to second, the return throw. Irvin picked oh. it. It's oh. up on his rear end with a double play ball in his glove. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what his nickname is Swerve and Irvin Swerve. 19. Well, he swerved and he irved. They will face Johnny Brito making his second career appearance. Boy, he was good his first time out. Mullins, Rutschman, Santander there on the bottom of the first. 0 oh, 2 for Cedric Mullins, who flips the bat head out into left <laughs> field. A base hit for Mullins. Rutschman is 9 for 30, a homer, and five RBIs. And a ground ball off of Brito into left field. Mullins high tailing it to third. Heads up, base running by Sed. Orioles at the corners with nobody out in the first. So he's not running. I mean, there it gets him somewhere in the ankle, calf. And then nobody covering third. I mean, Brito does get over there, but it wouldn't wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. yeah. Johnny Brito's got himself in a situation now. He's got to empty the toolbox to try to prevent a big inning. Ooh. He may not. Right center field. It's hit well. Cabrera is going to have room, though. He'll pull it in. But Santander gets it in play and gets a run home. A nine pitch sequence ends with a sacrifice fly. And the Orioles on the board first in game two. Well, you always like the matchup with Stanton when he's facing a left handed pitcher. He's faced Irvin three times. One of those at bats resulted in a three run home run. That one is ripped to left field. It's a base hit. A laser off his bat, a leadoff single for Stanton. And the Yankees very patient as Gleyber Torres works a walk. And that'll bring up Oswaldo Cabrera. Pitch clock down to one. And Irvin got it off in time and struck out Cabrera. Big time there. What an at bat. Aaron Hicks, last few years, has not been great for the Yankees. He batted just 216 last season and has already seen his playing time dwindle at the start of this year. Back to the fastball instead. Stanton will tag. As Vavra, the right fielder, makes the play. Stanton's going to go for third. And he will get there. Allowed it to score on a wild pitch or a breaking ball in the dirt or pass ball, whatever. Well, such a good matchup here for Higashioka. He'll swing here, high in the air to left <laughs> field. And Austin Hayes is there with room to spare. It's a long second for Irvin, but he doesn't allow anyone to score, stranding them at first and third. DJ LeMahieu, who struck out against Irvin to start this game. Vavra wow. coming on, he got it. <laughs> what a play, Terran Vavra in his second career start in right field. Vavra comes in and lays out and scoops it right off the grass. Just an outstanding play. Pretty gutsy too, because if that ball gets by him, there's trouble. Judge walked his first plate appearance. Two outs, nobody on, top three. 95 from Cole Irvin. Wow. Didn't know he had that in the bag. Swerving Irving. Two strikeouts in a 1 2 3 third for Cole Irvin. Now, here we go to the fourth, and here is Anthony Rizzo. Almost hit him inside, ball four, and the leadoff runner is on for the Yanks. This is pitch number 11. Where does Cole Irvin go to get an out? Good at bat. 11 pitch at bat. He worked the walk. And here's Aaron Hicks, who you might hear some boos. Those are not from Orioles fans. Those are from Yankee fans. First and second, now two out. Grounded up the middle and through for a base hit. Rounding third is Rizzo. He's coming home. He'll make it. It's an RBI single for Hicks. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. You realize how happy he is? That's his first hit of the year. His second RBI, and the game is tied at one. One here at Camden Yards. Game two of three. Here's the 0-1. Swung on line to right, charging. Cabrera makes a diving catch. Baltimore's right fielder did it. Now the Yankees' right fielder did it. He raced in. The ball stayed up just enough for him to make a dive and the catch. To the top of the fifth inning, Anthony Volpe leads off. High drive into right field. Barber back. Still back. And it's going to be off the wall. Volpe will get a double. And he's going to make the turn and go for three. It's a triple for Volpe. He just missed a 
home run and turns it into a triple to lead off the fifth inning. And love the attitude when he gets a second. You don't need a third base coach. That's all on you. The head first slide and the reaction from the dugout. I love it. Here's LeMayu. That one is ripped to left field. It is a base hit. Volpe scores easily. LeMayu will go to second and stop there with an RBI double. That gives the Yankees a two to one lead. So LeMayu at second. Yankees lead two to one. Here's Judge. And that one gets past Rushman as LeMayu will go to third. Well, that'll pick up a run. Mullins makes a catch. Tagging is LeMayu. Here's the throw. Here's the play. Safe. A sack fly for Judge. Yankees lead three to one. So here's both against Stan. One and oh. That is cracked to left field. There it goes. See ya. What a bomb. It is 4 1 Yankees. Wow. 436 feet on the line for Giancarlo Stanton. And you can move the walls back as far as you want when you hit him this hard. They go plenty far. With the Orioles needing to find three runs in the ninth inning and needing to find those runs against an all star from a season ago, the Yankee closer, Clay Holmes. A sinker, and there's a gift. Four pitch walk for Kyle Stowers off the bench. So here is Urias as the Orioles are down to their final out. Ground ball, Torres. This should do it. And the Yankees win by a score of four to one. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win.